what is going on guys chu here bring back the reviews it's been a few days guys i have been exceedingly busy and i want to apologize i know i'm behind with a lot of things but please be patient with me i try to get reviews as soon as i could with some of the stuff and honestly guys it, it's just been very very kind of uh busy for me but i'm getting back to my normal schedule so i really apologize uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this chapter. Honestly, I thought this chapter was a actually good chapter. It sounds very redundant. I apologize. But this was actually a good chapter. I say that as it's unscripted, but it is because we actually see Ignea showing who he truly is. And that's something I can honestly say I respect. I truly respect the fact that he is able to stop a battle and make it look like he's innocent and then continue because that's exactly what he did. He is heartless, he is cruel, and he is a badass. I'll give him that. Natsu, you need to pick up on this because in this chapter, he felt like Finn from Star Wars just saying, Ignea! Like, you know, if you guys watch Star Wars, Finn was like, Ray! And so in this one, we're just seeing him just, Agnia, stop! I'm like, what in the world? And I'm sorry, guys, I'm just a little <laughs> emotional here. And I'm, just, I'm just glad to be back, so I, I do apologize. But we definitely see him just being that person where it's like, oh, I'm going to join the fight. And then he sees a fight going on. He's like, stop! Like, that, that, that's ridiculous. And we have celine even being surprised of Natsu's reaction it's like why are you stopping us you know if one of us were to fall that just means one less enemy for you to worry about so why in the world are you trying to stop and the thing is ignia i guess it's because they're like brothers but ignia knew why he wanted to stop because he even brings up his father losing well their father losing to agnologia he's like had it been me, I would have beaten Agnologia. But here's a better question. Where in the world were you at during the events of the main story? You know, I know this is a spinoff. This is a different, well, not really a spinoff. It's a continuation. But where in the world were you during these events? You know, there was no indication that he had another son. He never mentioned it. So could it have just been my situation kind of like with Natsu where he just kind of adopted him, you know, later on. So... What we, we don't really know much about it. We just know that he actually just said that I would have handled it better. And, you know, dad lost because he was a weakling, basically. And so it was fun, funny to me, to me at least, to watch seeing him say that. And then he actually goes off and says, had it been me, though, had I been the one to have fought Agnologia, I would have beat him like this. And he just puts a giant hole well, you know, he has a whole, whole blast coming out of his mouth, going into Celine's chest. And Celine is actually very surprised. And I want to say, Celine was not a weakling in this fight. They both went at it with each, against each other. A very strong battle between dragons. And I got to say, that was really cool. I can't wait for that to be animated. It's going to take some years for that to be caught up. But I cannot wait for something like that to be animated. And then by the end of the chapter, we have, again, Natsu just going, No! me a stop and it's just like dude knock it off it's ridiculous i i'm not a big biggest fan of natsu and i'm hoping that he gets his ass beat almost to the brink of death because he needs to be having a different mindset he's always about friendship but you just saw a dragon just go down and you could be next so let me know what you guys think though i'd love to know your thoughts as always though guys stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i will catch you later